Do you like Ed Miller? You're speaking to him right now. Ed Miller. Pleasure. <laughs> yeah, sure. You know what? Me and that guy have history. Huh. So, what kind of history? The bad kind. Oh. Hmm. Did he, uh, hook up with you and then just disappear? What? No. I was about 13. I was obsessed with this book. Well, the cheapo edition. I heard he was doing a book signing at Rossmore Books. I pretended I was sick to skip school, but my parents didn't buy it. I tried to leave during recess and got caught. After school, I ran so fast that one of my heels broke and I twisted my ankle. But I made it. I got in line and waited and waited. And when there were only three people left in front of me, this old guy showed up, his editor, I think. White hair, white suit. You still here? What about the radio interview? And he took him away. The end. I never even saw his face. Getting grounded felt worse than the ankle, but not nearly as bad as the letdown. Anywho, 13 years old. Did you really never see his face? He was looking down at the books the whole time, plus people were in the way. And you've never seen a picture of him? Online, in the newspapers? Maybe, but I don't remember. Turn it over. Yes! No! No? Of course! You even told me! I thought you were joking. I, I have to see this with my own... <gasps> oh! Petronius, what did I tell you, huh? Sorry, your, your uncle. It's, it's fine, it's fine. I think he doesn't like me, is all. He doesn't like any girl. He's quite possessive. Oh, so do you get a lot of lady callers? Lots. But I never open the door. Huh, weird. I'd say you opened the door today. First time for everything. Anyway, uh, I'm 23 now. I'll never learn. <sighs> Do you remember the song that Buster sings at the end of the book? I wrote it. Did you write the music? It's a novel. You can't hear it. I could. What? What? No. <gasps> no. Sing it. No way. Sing it. No, no. Please. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. I've always wanted to hear the song, but I'm so damn musically challenged. The itch in me hates all that I am. The bitch in you hates all that you are. But when we 
we are together, we hate each other twice as much. That's the reason why we will never part. Which goes to show is how itchy we are. And every man to cause you. I don't think I need to go into detail about what happened. They're your memories. You decide. Okay. Um... No. I'd rather not feed your morbid curiosity. But there's something I do want to know. Do you remember the date? I don't even know today's date. Birds sing up in the sky. There's a mug in your hands, a warm feeling, a comforting scent. You look at a tree and suddenly an idea. Your cat interrupts you begging for food and when you go feed it. There's someone at the door. You could bring me some ice. <laughs> mm. Hand me your phone and I'll charge it for you. It's no problem at all. I left my car outside the Force Park entrance. I'll go over there and let you be once the swelling goes down. All right. You mentioned a certain Samuel. He lives a five minute drive away, across the forest with his wife.
All good? <laughs> As I was saying, you have no idea how sorry I am that this didn't work out. Mm -hmm. I had to give it a try. So you did it. I'm cured. <laughs> I'm not going to cure you. You are. We'll continue this later. Get some rest? The smile of the nurse that tore you from your mother's arms. Your first lover. Sleepless in an unknown house, in an unknown bed, staring at an unknown body. Spiders lining up to dive into your empty mouth. Oh, doctor, how long have you been uh, here? I had just walked in. Who's the poem by? Oh gosh. I like to come up with verses while I work. Oh, so then this is where Ed gets it from. Or from my brother, his father. It runs in the family. I appreciate it, but I think it would be better for Ed if you ate together. I think I might need a little fresh air to take a break and maybe uh, organize some of my notes. You should check out the dock. Plenty of sun at this time of day. I'll make you a sandwich. What do you think about Ed? He's a little stubborn, isn't he? Will he walk soon? He's as well as one would expect in this situation. Well, I guess he should just focus on doing his exercises, right? What exercises? Ham, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise? Yes, that's perfect. Well, if I was able to help him last time, I'm sure a doctor like you will manage. Help him with what exactly? Vertigo. Vertigo? Oh, let me tell you, Eddie was never afraid of heights as a child. No pirate captain ever is. You see that tree? The one with the deck chair? There used to be a little tree house in it. Ed would spend hours on end up there. My brother built it for him. Then, Eddie turned it into his very own pirate ship. It was all he could talk about. Pirate this, pirate that. He was obsessed with pirates ever since I got him a book by Salgari. And with his love of pirates came a love of reading, too. And see, that's where the writing began. Mystery solved. I don't mean to pry, but... When did he have for... Off you go then, Doctor. Or you might not have time to eat your sandwich.
Or Ed himself, if I can break through this wall he's put up. I'll have to give it a try. Currently unavailable. Who am I speaking to? Dr. Lomas? Who is this? Uh, it's Sheriff Reyes. Dr. Leonard gave me your number. How are you, Sheriff? Um, look, I don't want you to breach patient-doctor confidentiality or anything, but... I mean, something comes up in your conversations with Miller. Is Ed under investigation? Is he the suspect of a crime? Dole, will you give me a hand? I'm not in a position to make any promises. Mm-hmm. Well, I understand, Doctor. I would settle for anything at all. Maybe someone saw... Good morning, sir. Devrat Kulkarni. What's going on here? Accident, sir. The car is in the water. I've heard a lot, sir, about you. I'll tell you about all your work. Respect for your elders. You at the ranch yet? I'm on my way. Look, if anyone asks, I was working on Saturday night. कुछ भी नहीं साहब रास्ते पे कुछ भी नहीं था मैंने अपनी आंखों से देखा साहब आउट वंस आई गॉट अ सिग्नल अगेन ओके Adam, are your aunt and uncle usually home at this time? Uh, my uncle's probably in the barn. If my aunt's not home, she's at the store. If they're not answering, just go on in. Right. You want your uncle to accuse me of breaking and entering? <laughs> I see you know him.
Adam, care to tell me why my assistant graduated with blue hair? Ah, no. I told my Aunt Esther to get rid of that picture. I made a bet with Marcelo. If I graduated before he finished his thesis, I had to do it. Where'd you find it? I'll tell you later. Adam? Hold on, Nick. Sorry, I'm back. Everything okay? The big tree. In the field behind the barn. Who's under it? Oh. My cousin Leonard. I never met him. What was it? Fifty years ago? He was stillborn. My aunt almost died. They had to remove her uterus or ovaries or something. Nick? You still there? <clears throat> Sounds terrible. Thanks, man. I'll uh, see you at the station. Adam, were you planning on fishing with your uncle anytime soon? No. Why? He hasn't invited me since I told him about Marcelo. No reason. Just curious. It's probably for the best, to be honest. <laughs> 